We okay. have a new car, which is in Suzuki Escudo, a little bit of an older model. And uh, we want to check here if the brake fluid is still in a good level or not. We have a tool here which measures the amount of water inside the brake fluid. First of all, we have to see where the brake fluid is. We have it here. We can open up the, the hat and we can see it's a dot three fluid. So we have to adjust our system to dot three. So we can change it here, dot three, dot four, dot five, but we want to have dot three. Put this on a, on a good place because brake fluid is very aggressive against any kind of paint. So you want to check this inside here is a small filter. You take out the filter, put it on a nice place and then you put this inside the brake fluid and you measure it. And as you can already see, the brake fluid in here has about has above two percent which is mm, not so good but it's all almost gone but in the color of the brake fluid you can already see that the brake fluid is pretty old so the recommendation would be here to change the brake fluid to a better one on the dot four of course it's a different state, dot 5, dot 3 allows a little bit more water than the dot 4. So, this means brake fluid should be changed at the next service. Careful, any drip of this on any paint, it will take off the paint. So have it cleaned nicely, switch it off and you already know the state of the brake fluid. Put it back on, put the filter on, the cover back, and you can talk to the customer and tell him, listen, brake fluid should be changed, otherwise you will have a further damage inside your system. Either the main cylinder or the cylinders at the tires, at the brake, or at the lineries. <coughs> they will start to rust because there's such too high amount of water inside. Also. The boiling point will go down, which means this is dangerous when driving um, steep hill and you brake a lot. It might come to the boiling point and you don't have any brake anymore. So this is a good way to check it always.